Welcome back to Ayaz Tech. My name is Ayaz Zafar. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Bootstrap in your Angular app and how to set up to use it properly. So before we begin, please make sure that you already have subscribed to my YouTube channel and also click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any notifications from my channel. So let's begin. So this is my Angular project that is uh, up and running locally. So this is the source code. So to install Bootstrap, just open the Bootstrap website and click on the download button. And here you will find uh, this command npm install, copy it. Actually, just type it here. And we need actually two libraries. We need jQuery and also the Bootstrap. So because uh, jquery depends on the boot uh, on the jquery as well uh, for some action so let's add npm install bootstrap and jquery and save press enter uh, with the save flag it will save the dependencies in your package.json file so let's see Okay, you can see that it has been installed successfully. And if you open your package.json file, you will find these dependencies like Bootstrap and jQuery has been installed. Now, after installing it, next step is you need to open your app.angular.json uh, file. And in this file, you need to add the paths of uh, the Bootstrap CSS code and also path for the jQuery file. So for example, if you scroll down, uh, here, you can see that uh, we have the styles array and we have the scripts array. Here after this, uh, before this styles array, you need to add the path of your Node.js uh, module that you just installed for the bootstrap let's uh, find out its path if you open the node modules folder type a search for the bootstrap and open the bootstrap in the bootstrap go to the disk folder and in the disk folder you will find the the all of the files you need to use the path of this uh, min file minified file so type node modules slash uh, bootstrap slash this slash css slash bootstrap dot min dot css so in this way you have added the css file next you need to add the path of your jquery file so by the way i also have written an article uh, version of this video so if after watching this video you can also look at this article to read uh, further in depth you will find all of the code snippet that i have typed i have added the screenshot step by step information you can follow them and you can make that installed on your application as well so anyways so after that you need to import bootstrap uh, js file as well as the jquery file so in the bootstrap dist folder there's a js folder and uh, in the js folder we have uh, bootstrap.min.js so change it to the .js and after that actually before so you need jquery before adding this path so add another path that is inside node module slash jquery slash uh, let's find out the jquery folder in the node modules folder hmm. so this is the folder in the jquery folder we have the dist folder and in the dist folder we have the jquery.min.js okay now we need to add the comma and save it after uh, making this change 
you need to stop your angular server and start it again i, I have stopped the server and let's run it again ng serve and it is serving meanwhile we can uh, go to the bootstrap website we will get some uh, some some any code to test if a bootstrap is working properly or not so click on the components let's uh, use the accordion this accordion uses the bootstrap uh, uh, function and uh, styles so bootstrap javascript is also being used here and jQuery as well. So we will use that to test if it is working fine or not. Well, uh, there's something wrong here. Hmm. Okay, I made a mistake inside the path for the JS file. Here you can see I was using the CSS path, but there is a JS folder that we uh, were required to use. So now let's try that again. Let's see. Hmm. Does, so it is saying that this file does not exist in this path so, so let's see what wrong we have done so in the bootstrap we have the dist folder we have the dist folder and in the dist folder we have the js folder okay and then we have bootstrap.min.js bootstrap hmm. that's strange So, mm, <laughs> boot. Okay, I'm sorry about the issue. And the issue was that I was using a word boost wrap, but the real word, uh, the correct word was boot strap. So that was wrong. So now it will be fixed. Now let's try that again. now it is asking that the port is already being used so we can use a different port by adding the port flag mm, okay this port is also being used so let's try this one 6545 okay now it is working Mm, there is still an issue that is saying something that cannot resolve this file. Actually, instead of uh, typing by hand, you should uh, copy the path by clicking, right clicking on the file. For example, if you need the bootstrap.min.css, then right click on this file and click on the copy relative path. And in the second line, let me put that. Yeah, you can see that there's a difference. And uh, let's see what was the different. 
CSS rule. Yeah, the same mistake. The spellings were incorrect about for the bootstrap. So now let's try again. All right, uh, the project is six five four. So local host is running successfully. You can see here. Next, we need to copy the code for the accordion again to test it. So go back to the app dot component, remove all of the existing code, and paste it there. Now you can see that bootstrap styling is working great and also accordion is also working perfectly fine. So you can make any component work properly uh, after uh, these installation and setup. So let's add a few more uh, uh, component to see how they work. So for example, let me add this one. Actually, let's add this button one. Now we got a button from the bootstrap. Click on that. You can see a dialog is working perfectly. Next, let's try something else. For example, let's try this one. And I am going to copy this one. Uh, actually, I guess it is using some images. That is what. It is not working for me. So now let's try the tabs. Okay, let's try these tabs. You can see tabs are working. So that's mean uh, everything is working perfectly fine with this installation. So, so you can now use uh, uh, the same procedure in your own web app to make it work. So I guess that's all I wanted to show you in this video. So once again, I want to make sure that please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any notification from my YouTube channel. So, and also like and share and comment my video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.